Right. Rally ho. My name is Zangetsu. I'm a golden dwarf. You know who your golden boy is. Nothing like going on the roof to help you sober up after a long night, eh? Hmm? What? Looking for some fun. Why don't we go fetch the watchman and lally ho it up a bit, eh? Lally ho! Drinking by yourself ain't so bad every now and then. I'll drink anything. Girly drinks all the hard stuff. It doesn't matter to me. This beats out working any day, Lally. Lally ho, this place is hopping. It's happy hour right now, you know. So I can't get a drink. I might be a ninja, but that doesn't mean that I couldn't go for a nice beer. And is there any treasure? Oh, you had a great look at the magma from the castle roof. Lally ho, this is the treasure chamber. No entry allowed. Eh. But I. I like treasure. Lally ho, you're a weird dwarf, no doubt about it. What kind of backwater village did you come from? Wait, I was supposed to come here? Shit, progression. Uh huh. Mm, it's so big and throbbing. The Tower of Babel! We must inform the king at once. It's finally begun. Hey, you! Go report it now! Sorry, but my job here is done. Huh? Wow, what a jump. <laughs> That's an oof from me, Captain. Ah, my... That was higher than I thought. The tower's lit up. I must return to Eblon immediately and inform my master about this. There will be a short distance to the overworld once I get through these mines. It was me. Makes two impressive jumps, then falls flat on his face. Shit. Not every day I see a soul from the top side. That way there will take you back to the surface. But mind the demons. By the by, would you care to buy something? I mean, I could buy something. I think if I remember correctly, my items share? I feel like they must be because the lustful lally ho we picked up from Edge's bedroom. He's been a naughty boy. We need to get Leonora and a dominatrix here out there. Which, yes, that's a thing that we did last stream. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Anyway, what can you do? You can do shock. Fair enough. Uh, I could save, but is there an item here? No, there's a free heal, though. Sending the inns out of business. So, from our experience so far, this story should only take about half an hour. Like, this sub-story of Edge is... Excuse me, what did I just read? Human kite. Is that jump? Do you mean jump? Something about seeing him just fly off screen. This would be one of the the woo guys from uh, Sekiro. He'd just be waiting there on his kite, just go woo. So, is there an important item over here? I can't tell, so I'm gonna have to go all the way over there. Because what... What if that's where the adamantite is? <laughs> I need it. I don't know why I need it, but I know that I need it. There is an item all the way over there. Great. I feel like this is what's taken the longest out of all of the stories, has been just me trying to get the items. Because we found adamantite, well, because I'm an item whore, and because we found an adamantite in the first as Theodore, and then found it again as, who's next, was it Rydia? What we did next? I think it was. And so now, I have to find them in every story, or else I feel like I'm missing out. And I don't want to miss out. Or replay segments. <laughs> yeah, one, one or the other. No, oh, he already has a clue. Yeah. I mean, it would have been useful if he didn't already have it. There's a free uh, healing spot, so I'm not going to worry about conserving anything right now. Because I'll just go, I'll swing back by the healing pot. And there's probably another one by the other save point. And this is the second ninja that we're playing as. Well, third if you count playing as Edge. So we had Geku, who saw not Rydia fight uh, the monks of Fabul, and he's the one that buried them. Which is how come uh, Yang and Ursula found gravestone for Wait. I thought I was out of mana already. Never mind. I don't think jump is affected by the lunar phase. It doesn't 
seem to be. Because it would show it as being red if it was. At the same time, it's not exactly effective. That's fine. The healing things right here. Now here's the thing. If he uses a kite, why didn't he just do that to get down from the castle instead of jumping and hurting his back? I feel like this old man isn't the smartest. Then again, I am the one playing him. It'd probably be quicker if I just did normal attacks. But they're less fun. <laughs> I just want items. I can do ten fights with two. We'll probably try and only do it for fights that have four or more enemies. Kill three and less. Uh long way. Try and make my mana stretch out a little bit further. Yeah, we should be fine. London calling. Been on a real uh, classic rock. Pick. I think because we were listening to so much like montage, 80s montage music for uh, Final Fantasy 3 and 4, I was just like, I mean, this is good. There's only so many times you can listen to I need a hero before you're sick of it. And instead what I want is a bit of Jimi Hendrix or a ZZ Top. So I was playing, I've been playing through Final Fantasy XIV and Realm Reborn uh, off stream. And I was listening to ZZ Top whilst uh, doing end well end gay end vanilla game dungeon, and it's just sharp dressed man. Oh no, well dressed man. Uh, it came on whilst Sid from that game was in a cutscene and it's just it completely changes the way that you look at characters what music you have in the background pathetic fallacy is a thing or rather thematic scoring pathetic fallacy is more foreshadowing thematic scoring is Oh, this is a bad guy. This is how you should feel about him. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, 
Okay, let's... Let's make a run for that save point. Why, why is it that you have butterfly things? Like, of, of all the things... Why a butterfly? Um, or it could be a moth. Because um, the four uh, ninjas were attributed to the elements similar to the four arch fiends. Oh, there's another healing pot there. Ooh. Wait, no, that's the same one. Never mind. Um. But yeah, they were attributed to the elements, and this guy is the one of wind. Because he's an old man and he farts a lot. I mean, it's an, a useful item. Just. I, I do like the amount of items that we're getting, just none of them have been particularly impressive. And now I'm a frog. Oh my god. Yeah, thank you for healing me of being a frog. Come in, come in, come in. Let me. But for once, I actually want to progress. Kind of. A little bit. It's a very, very rare thing. To be honest, at this point, I'm just really looking forward to the next game. As I've said, but I've said in the previous streams that I'm not a massive fan of episodic style stuff. I feel like it actually detracts from the story. Like Neo, because it's mission based, and to a similar extent, things like uh, Devil May Cry, I've, I struggle to get into them because I feel like. The story gets broken up by the missions of the episodes. And so you lose the fluidity. That being said, what was the game? This is going to sound really like a weird comparison. Was it Sonic Heroes? The one that had like three different stories. You had like the heroes, you had the light team, the dark team, and then
one with the B. I think they were a B. They were a B and a crocodile. I don't know, Sonic's weird. But that game was alright, because it was more like separate campaigns than episodes. I don't mind multiple campaigns. Those can be fun, because they give different perspectives. At the same time, if you have 12 of them... I think, I think that's no longer a separate campaign, that's just a different episode. I don't know which ninja is gonna have the adamantite. Ah, the journey home will be a difficult one, as I suspected. It's a gargoyle. Okay, no, fair enough, it's a Belphegor. I don't know what that means, but maybe it's a more powerful gargoyle. <laughs> Hold on, it I hit it for its weakness, did 700 damage and it's it's fine. Never mind. I w I was potentially slightly a little bit intimidated for a moment. That monster was far stronger than anything else I've encountered here. You're not wrong. I have no time to spare. I'm coming, master. Inky. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it for Zangetsu. I mean, I don't know how any of these play, so I don't know the significance of the moon phases for them. But here we go, Izayoi. Oh dear god, do we get to go to the strip club again? Are you ready to begin today's training, girls? For generations, Trier has been governed by a group of eight epochs who serve the crystal. However, one within our, f our order has been afflicted by a grave illness. As a result, English. As a result, we must act quickly to choose a e new epoch. A new epoch. That's what I wanted to say. An epoch that is just a knee. Keep that in mind as you go about your training. Today, we'll work on your spiritual fortitude. 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 Reading things and speaking, despite the fact that I do both every single day. Sometimes I don't do good, them. Them do good, I not. You shall cleanse yourselves with cold water and wash away any distractions. This will help you focus your internal energies. Once you're ready, please assemble in the large pond in front of the village inn, so that the old man can spy on you. Hey, did you hear? They say a war is about to break out. I heard the same thing. Word has it the barons deployed their airship fleet again. My mom said things are looking just like they did before the previous war. And that's not all. I heard that Leonora will be taking a final exam shortly. Say, that reminds me. Remember the rumor about how she needed to master black magic first? Huh? Black magic? Mm-hmm. Supposedly, they're requesting a mage from Mysidia to instruct her. Huh. I don't know. Sure looks like there's going to be a war soon, doesn't it? Girls! What are you doing? Hurry up and assemble in the pond! Yes, ma'am! Been here for a while now. 
could be happening with Baron yet? But we're all wet. You're the last one here. I'm sorry. Alright, you'll now cleanse your bodies in the pond and train your spirit. Ma'am? Uh, what should we be thinking about while we're doing this? You must try to sharpen your heart and soul as you concentrate. Do not think about anything else. Make your consciousness one with the water surrounding you. Uh, yes ma'am. No one is allowed to leave until all of you have achieved full concentration. You may now begin. A group of wet ladies. I can't take this anymore. It's too cold. Can't expect to become an epop if you can't even get through this training exercise. She's a very frail girl, ma'am. Face is turning blue. Please, ma'am, you need to let her rest. Very well. That'll be all for today. Me meanwhile, I'm just still here. Why is Troya so eager for a new epoch? They've gotten to the point where they've built an entire tower solely for training. <coughs> you okay? Epops have been awfully tough on us ever since the Tower of Charles to the south was completed. We've never had training this intense. I wonder, is there still going to be an item over here? Is this is a separate campaign? And you don't necessarily have to do them in any particular order. I mean, other than that, well, there's. there's Three that haven't unlocked yet? A potion. 300 gear. The number of black chocobos has really plummeted lately. Yeah, the same thing. But at least I got some items. How much money do I have? I'd have enough to get into the first level. of the pub. The food and water are fantastic here. This is what happens when you eat too much. The woman isn't even here. Okay, so I can't. Okay. Hmm? You want the new girls here? There's a Chocobo village north of town. What a looker you are! How about spending some time with me, eh? Whoa, you're a pretty one. It's a toss-up between you and the barkeep, that's for sure. Ooh, not bad. You take him. Not to brag or anything, but I'm the kingpin around these parts. So, I can't blow my cover. It would seem. What am I? Where am I supposed to go? They're trying to train Epops. But there's a really frail girl. Quack! Why don't you say hello to everyone? Chocobos are really cute. You smell them. Uh. 
Chocobos are friends to all. Please be kind to them. I mean, they've talked about the tower. Am I supposed to go to the tower? Wait, what? What's up? Are you one of the EPOP trainees? Yes, sir. Hmm, really? What do you mean, sir? Oh, I know you women. You can be very scary sometimes. How you plot things whilst putting up that pretty face of yours. Well, that's what we're good at, sir. Ooh, scary. <laughs> He knows that I'm a ninja. Impressive. The only other thing I've got is if there's any equipment or anything. I mean, to be fair, I'm going to pick some up running through this area, no doubt. Still don't know why they're dancing. Oh! We can get kinky in here. I think, I think I'm okay. We, we, we had enough kinky stuff last stream. Though it does seem that any of the women can use a whip. Which is, um, <clears> telling. <throat> hey, aren't you supposed to be in training right now? Okay, can't get any of the items from me. There then. I'm guessing that I'm supposed to go to the tower. I mean, there isn't really anywhere else for me to go. Magical seal, no matter. Are you just gonna climb the tower from the outside? That's exactly what you're gonna do. He's just spider manning the bitch. Wait, they... Okay. I, I wasn't actually expecting... Oh god, things are gonna get kinky. Okay. This isn't the kind of thing I was expecting. How am I going to get up? Or is it... Oh! Fair enough. <laughs> Wait, you have illusion. What do your illusions? 
You charm them because you'd be sexy. You charm them. Of course. Only level eight. That could be interesting. You really just got three attacks off before they got off one. I mean, it's lucky that there's these bricks just sticking out the side of the tower. How convenient. I like this room. Well, we stopped being quite so kinky. I kind of expected there to be an item. Because, you know, this room of items wasn't enough for me. I mean, I'm still keeping an eye out for adamantite. Because I need to. Because you only play as these ninjas each for a half hour. You know, assuming that they don't all come together and... I don't know. Do some teenage, teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shit. At the end. Uh, I feel like they made it really easy. For them. Because they don't expect you to actually develop them. Now watch that be completely untrue, me get into a fight that's actually difficult and die. What's up, Tinker? It's hot as fuck, help. You just need to get yourself a fan. It's quite muggy in the UK. Well, at least where I am today. What? A zoo? I mean, I'm assuming that it is indeed a zoo. That zoo is going to get fucked up. I'm getting fucked up. I thought the zoo would be the one to get fucked up. I was wrong! Is 
It takes out like half my health in a hit. Well, okay, not in a hit, but in a round. Does two hits. Can you die? Thank you. I very nearly ate my words about them making things easy. <laughs> I'm impressed. Building a tower like this simply is a training tool? There's an intensely powerful monster presence inside. I can feel it from here. Troin Epops must have something in mind. Your hairline popped out of existence. What? Checked your phone at around 4, it said 36 degrees. You died on the inside. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'm I'm warm just thinking about that. The Tower of Babel is glowing. It's still weak. But it's just as it was before. I knew that moon was bad news from the start. Time is of the essence. I must hurry back to Eblon. That's it. You want to steal the ship? I'll catch a ride on that ship. Wait, do I now need to go all the way back down? I climbed this tower for no purpose. A hidden item. A hidden item at the top of a tower. And it's a fucking high potion. God, your knees. I should really heal. Those butterfreeze. Basically, yes. <laughs> They're overgrown caterpies. Wait, those are different. Eh, it's fine, they still die in a shot. I'm very near dying in a shot, though. I should heal. I'm gonna heal. I feel like they've doubled the length of Izzy's. Yeah. Is a Yoi. Uh, of Izzy's campaign episode subplot thing by having her go back down the tower. Nothing. There is no importance to me going back down the tower. There was barely any importance to me going up the tower.
I just feel sorry for this girl's knees. So it does kind of look like she's wearing knee pads. But that's just smart. I have a feeling that this girl would get on her knee to the edge. If you know what I mean. Anyway. There it is. Hey! Wait, is there only one captain in this entire world? Are you the captain of this ship? Yes, but... What is your destination? Mesidia, ma'am. I'm actually headed in that direction. Would you mind if I came along with you? What man of the sea would turn down a pretty lady like you? Right, guys? Aye, aye, sir. So, where are you headed? The land of your blind. Now are they going to pull some bullshit that the sailing ship requires fuel? Again? How many tentacles and how much of a gangbang is this going to be? That is the other thing that's probably going to happen. Huh? Tentacles! Ahead, sir! Captain! What is that thing? The tower. It's glowing. We need to go faster. But I'll pay you however much you want. Just as long as we don't go anywhere near that tower, okay? <laughs> I guess our knee pads are going to be useful for something after all. Hang on, Master Edge. Izzy I is on her way because I refer to myself in the third person. Wait, is that it? Sukinawa is actually in Mysidia. Okay. Oh god, I'm one of the demon children. Wait, the demon? The demon children are from Mysidia. I've been murdering them. Uh -huh. So not only did Cecil kill a bunch of people and steal the crystal, I then spent an entire game murdering demon children that were the children of Mysidia. <laughs> Little kids have been attacking me 24-7. Yeah. That's what happens when you work in a family restaurant. Anyway. Now then, that's all for today, kids. Yes, Professor. See you all tomorrow. Remember to eat a good meal and get a good night's sleep, okay? One of these kids is not like the other. Lapin? Yeah? 
You weren't paying attention to me today either, am I right? Sure I was. Really. You've been living in Mysidia for a very long time now. Are you honestly sure you're interested in studying the art of magic here? Of course I am. I have a hard time believing that. Just saying that because I'm not from here. Huh? Nani? What is it? It's a child! <laughs> oh god, kill it with fire! Fyraga! Fyraga! He's alive! He's still breathing! Give him some cure, hurry! Right! No, I, I didn't mean it like that. No. Oh, Lady Porum. How many times do I need to tell you, Professor? You don't have to call me Lady. I'm taking the supplements. Surgery slated for next week, but never mind. The elder's waiting for you in the hall of prayer. The elder? Yes, he wants everyone there at once. Understood, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. You're laughing, right? Uh, oh yeah. You're hiding something, aren't you? Huh? So you noticed. I've... I've got a toad inside my pocket. Do you want to see it? Couldn't help but notice. You're in thigh highs. And booty shorts. How about you look at my toad and see if you can't make it croak? Is that all? <laughs> well, actually... I've got some Geisel Greens that I stole from the field as well. I hope that's it. That's all, I mean it! Hmm... Isn't that some Geisel greens in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> what? What? Didn't do anything. You sound just like him. Huh? Nothing. Make sure you give back those vegetables, okay? Okay. That white mage can't be trifled with. Better watch out around her. I am a demon child! Wait, was Zangetsu not wind? I guess he must have been thunder then. Welcome to Mysidia, sacred ground for all mages. You're gonna have to learn to say that too someday. Try it. I saw two people enter the Devil's Road earlier. I wonder who they were. I'm not sure I'm comfortable uh, that I'm playing as a child. I might actively try and murder myself. 
Not that I think I'll have to try very hard. Hey, Lappin, guess what? I just learned how to cast Toad. You want me to try it on you? Okay, here goes. Toad! I'm a fucking massive Toad. Of all of the spells to learn first. Toad. Am I... Supposed to try and go to the Tower of Prayer? Sorry, kid. The Elder's having a very important meeting with his mages right now. Run along home, okay? Okay. Very important meeting, is it? There's definitely a place you can only go to while toaded. Hmm? Is there something you need in the Hall of Prayer? Uh... Yeah, for them to give me a repeated way to enter Toad. Probably. Oh, hello, Lappin. This is the entrance to the river road. You can never go in there, okay? Not even for fun. I somehow... Put me back in the water! Let me get in the water. Okay. And I... Go down the well. Or am I missing something? Like a way to get around? Nope. I mean, the only place I haven't been has been the inn. Let's go into the inn. The Western Cape has a lovely view. On a clear day, you can see all the way to the Tower of Babel. The monsters have become a lot more restless recently. Horam's grown up to be one heck of a pretty woman. Oh, those thigh eyes. You better stay away from Mad Ordeals to the east. You've been overrun by the undead. What if I was to talk to you whilst toaded? Eek! Go, go. go away. If you don't go, then I I'm out of here. The guy was afraid of toads. As a magician who can turn his enemies into toads. I have to go in as a toad. That's annoying. Do I have any maiden's kisses? Yeah, I have a few. That's fine. Get away from me! Ah, it's icky and slimy and ooh. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> what did you say? 
No need to panic. I'm merely suggesting one possible scenario. But if it turns out to be true, we'll need to act as quickly as possible. Eh? So... So, the crystals are about to take center stage again. The tragedies of the past are about to unfold once more. Elder, where is Palum right now? He's on his way to Troy at the moment to honor request. The greatest black mage of Mysidia, absent from his post. If we were attacked right now, it really would be a repeat of the past, wouldn't it? Black magic is not a panacea for all our problems. Have you forgotten what the Elder taught us? But... How else should we respond to the moon's return? Elder. Hmm. I will travel to Mount Ordeals at once. Mount Ordeals? What? Don't worry, I won't do anything rash. I just need to hone my dick-sucking skills. Be careful out there. Whatever you do, remember to stay out of harm's way. Yes, Elder. I didn't earn the stripes on these thigh highs doing nothing. Porum. Listen, everyone. We cannot afford to hurry ourselves into an ill-advised plan of action. This may wind up being absolutely nothing at all. Yes, Elder. Meanwhile, we just sent our strongest white mage to a mountain that we know is infested with monsters. What could possibly go wrong? Why is Porum headed for Mount Ordeals? Hey, kid. Thank you. So, are we going to learn anything about Cain whilst we're at Mount Ordeals? Because that's where he was training. I don't think I can get into combat whilst still a kid. Well, time to climb the mountain. Cutie's a bitch. That seems inconvenient, having to switch the way that he's holding the blades every time he wants to attack. Like, why not just hold them that way? Why is their level going down? He's an even lower level. Jesus. Wait, what's your... Oh, you have steel! That is not useful in the slightest! I'm trying to remember what the the first guy, Geku's ability was. A monster emerges from the chest. It's a fucking butterfly. I'm sorry, it's a navy moth. 
is this going to be adamantite? Because I haven't found it as any of the other characters. So unless there's a bit where you can play as fucking high potion. Unless there's a bit where you can play as all of them or play as edge. I feel like I'm missing. I mean, I have the Lust for Lally Ho, which I could read, but I feel like I'm a child at the moment. That's kind of a bit weird. Wow, two levels at once. Ooh, I can heal. Also, is he dabbing when he wins a fight? I hadn't quite noticed, but it looks like he's dabbing with his swords. on Mount Ordeals that hadn't been taken by Kane. Where would I be? Not in that chest. I mean, I, I, I legitimately don't even know if there is one. Because this is a different format for all of the other chapters, so maybe there isn't one in this one. Or maybe I should have found it as Edge. Sorry, Edgy. Huh? <laughs> So sneaky. Can't let my guard down around Parham for even a moment. Oh no, they survive a hit. Whatever will I- Oh dear god. You didn't see anything. There, there is indeed a death counter. There we go. My stream deck wasn't working for a moment. I have a button that does it! <laughs> when it works. Okay, now looking at my health I can understand why I died so quickly. I was actually far closer to death than I realized. That's not what I meant to do, but oh well. Go 
get fucked. And he didn't dab this time. Wait. There's the dab. A green beret. Okay. But what about... Adamantite? Eh? Huh? You know you want to give it to me. You know you do. I just got 666 experience from killing demon heads. Satanicious. So, you know, other than the zoo and that one fight because I was already at less than half health. I stand by these fights being easy. A metal boomerang. So I throw a metal boomerang at someone's head and then I stab them with a sword. That is, that is my current uh, battle strategy. And it sounds quite effective, actually. This is Edgy's Preston. Well, it's... Sukinawa's. I was just trying to remember it, and it's literally right in front of my face. Sukinawa's story of Edgy's uh, chapter. Because Edgy had to be Edgy and have stories inside his stories. Palum? She must be terribly worried about it. You heard that Edgy was better in this game. Uh, I don't really know. We played as him for like a minute. Oh god, more demons. Ether. Where the fuck is the adamantite? I swear, if this is the only campaign that I can't find it. I mean, if I don't find it, I will just actually look up if there is an adamantite. You remember in Final Fantasy VII where you couldn't hit flying creatures unless you had a range weapon or long range? Yeah. It's been a while, but yeah. Seven was just so good.
I must admit, I don't know much at all about the remake. But it's going to be interesting to see what they do with uh, the materia system. Did I kill the super bosses in 4? I got... Uh, I got Bahama. We didn't fight Odin, because it didn't work out how to get to him. I knew that he was under Baron, because it they said it in-game, but I didn't work out how to get there. We got Bahamut. We got Asura. Garion and Proto Babel. Nope. Didn't fight them. Shinobi gear. Where the sh... So. What's this, a stone monument? Where'd Porum go? To be fair, I don't think I've fought any of the super bosses since in the like original classics. Pre pre seven. The the two D ones that aren't necessarily two D anymore. <laughs> the Tower of Babel, I knew it. It's been activated. I hope nothing's happened to you, Porum. I love you. I need to get to the Western Cape. I'll be back with you as soon as I can, Master. You're telling me that I have to... Why am I even surprised anymore? Say, hey, you went through this dungeon. Now go back through it. But there won't be anything new to do. You can just go back through it. You remember when you had a white mage who could just cast teleport? Ha 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 ha. I really... there has to be a segment where we actually play as Edge. You know, other than just to find the porno mags under his bed. There has to be an actual segment where we play as him. don't feel like I've like I've missed checking anyone. 
Unless it was in one of the towns. It could have been in one of the towns. In a room I didn't check or something. Oh, he's going to teleport. No, not teleport. Change back. Right. Can I get in here? Yes. Okay, it could be in here. I didn't even have to hide to get in there. Is there a chest? No chest! You must give your trading everything you have, my lad. I don't want him. What the adamantite? Old man! Where's your adamantite? Who is this little guy? His name is Lapin. Use our cover. I can force myself to go through puberty. Well, back to Iblan. Swim, bitch. Thank you, Miss Idia. Farewell, Professor. And farewell to you, Porum. I hope we have a chance to meet again someday. This time, when I'm not a prepubescent little boy. man's ultimate dream appear like a child at will so you never actually have to do any real work. <laughs> and women love you. Left foot forward before your right foot sinks. Master, my friends, I will see you all soon. Are you fucking kidding? I mean, I suppose it is... It is old folklore that they could... Oh! Oh, we... We, we interrupted Edge's masturbation. But we already got rid of your porno mag, so I don't know what... What are you using as material? The moon is getting bigger and bigger. Could that be the same moon? The one that was home to Golbez and Fusia? The Lunarians back for us? I wish I could get rid of this unease in my heart. And this heart on in my pants. But everything's happening just as it was before. Just like when Rubicante stormed the castle. Huh? Your, your Highness! Your Young Highness! Where's Master Edge? He should be asleep in his chambers. What's wrong? The Tower of Babel, that's what. I knew it. It's back.
Okay. Well, I am playing as Edge. But... I don't know, do I, do, should I explore Eblan Castle or... So the ultimate attack of this tower is it just says a bunch of nonsense and drives everyone crazy babbling. I'm not sure that's the babble that they meant. Probably more like uh, the Tower of Babel from. Uh, is it Christianity? Wait, no, wasn't it a Mesopotamian um, thing? A tower to try and reach the heavens? I don't know. Sumerian. There we go. That is the eye. She spurned every one of my advances. Has her heart already been captured by someone? So when do you think Master Edgy is going to find a queen for himself? Ah, your highness, please, pardon my rudeness. Welcome. Edge does want Rydia. Or at least he did. I mean, is this still the merchandise chest? Adamantite me. I feel like I explored this place pretty well. What's up, you old bitch? You needn't hide it, my lord. I know you've been helping Mist in secret. You really want that young summoner. Of course, she traveled through time to a certain extent. Perhaps she's as old as you now. Or older. Yeah, Riddy is a cougar now. I mean, she keeps going back to the Fey March. So, you know, they, she said that time moves differently there. Don't. They did fix all the holes in the floor. Yep. I don't know where. Where the Adamanto would be. Because I feel like when we we're at the end of this campaign. This episode, whatever you want to call it. Because we're playing as Edge. 
you know, we've done all the other ninjas. You have to find a bunch of rat tails to get it. Well, I do have a black tail that we got as pollen for going into a strip club and spending lots and lots of money. That isn't even a lie. It really isn't. Maybe I need to read Lustful Lally Ho again. Could you imagine how this game would be with realistic graphics? It'd be rated M for sure. Rizia alone. Rydia alone would make this game fairly high rated. She she spends the entire time in a very skimpy bodysuit. For no reason. Okay, lustful lally ho. Woo! It allows her to channel her magic better. Uh huh. That' what we're calling it these days. There's also the fact that we had Leonora, uh, we bought the Queen set, and Whip. So Leonora is now canon, a dominatrix. We also bought that in the strip club. Again, not even lying. Oh no, it's going to be in this cave. This is going to be where the adamantite is. And I can guarantee you... It's going to be all the way to the north. <sighs> Fuck. The reason he's not hitting like a wimp is because out of all of the ninjas that we've played as, he's the highest level. But also, the combat, the combat in this version, because it's episodic, has been made much easier. I reckon that the enemies are underleveled. Okay. I swear to God. Yeah. Heal pill. It's essentially pure. Yeah, 
You want him to have chill pill. I mean, he is a lot more chill. But that could just be because Rydia isn't here for him to hit on. Porum just became a little... Uh, Pollum, rather, just became a little bitch. He, he he was trying to be edgy. And his character just changed. Entirely from, you know, the womanizing little troublemaker that he was. And if anything, it actually detracted from his story. If he was trying to become a sage, he should have had some amazing black magic. Did he not? No, he had fire. He had the uh magic. He didn't have Argo. Didn't have Argo. He didn't have... Flare. And you know, other than when we took him to a strip club, because, you know, he's of age, um, <laughs> he didn't really try and hit on anyone. Sounds like he spent too much time chasing women and forgot all his magic. Well, that's the thing. He didn't even spend time chasing women. And he was sent to teach a white mage how to do black magic. And he kept on going on about how he wanted to be a sage, and yet he didn't cross his mind once that, oh, maybe I should try and learn white magic. Are you kidding me? I did all of that for a high potion. And he was going on to this white mage about how Black magic is, uh, like, easy. You just have to imagine, you know, a fire. And then project it out. And it's like, well, why isn't white magic the same? <laughs> Apply the same principle. I'm a bit annoyed. Where the fuck is this Adamante? Yeah, I, I think I missed a hole in the wall as well. I'm also struggling to get this fruit and nut bar out of its wrapper. It's very sticky. I felt like I needed something relatively healthy. I had nachos for dinner. <laughs> Literally just made a massive thing of that um, cheesy. The maps are the exact same, as far as I've noticed.
Um, the item placement. For, well, the hidden wall placement is primarily the same that I've noticed. Um, the hidden items. Like uh, the ones that just come up with the prompt. Those, there's less of them it seems. But they're still in most of the same places. Yeah, I made a load of chili a couple of days ago. So the other day I just had it in wraps. With like refried beans, uh, sour cream and cheese. And then today, had it on nachos with again refried beans, sour cream. Some salsa. Chili is an amazing food, healthy and cheap. Not necessarily sure about that first one. I think it depends how much um, vegetables, how many vegetables you put in it, and how much oil and shit you use. That was reasonably tasty, but really awkward. Oil, yeah, like... Depending on how you cook it. Uh, like, I brown the beef off in a little bit of oil. Then put that to the side and use the oil and the fat from the the beef to saute off some onions and a load of mushroom that it, like I blitz down to almost a paste fry that off until it's uh pretty you've been making chili without meat nothing wrong with that I, one of the main reasons I put the meat in it is makes it more filling and obviously bigger. I put a lot, I put a whole like punnet of uh, mushroom in, uh, in my chili. Just cut up really, really small. Father. Mother. You were buried out of sight, just as you requested, Father. A ninja to the end. Do you ever get lonely all the way down here? And now that tower has been set into motion once again. I know what all this means already. I swear, I won't let anyone go through that again. I'll be going now. Later! Mushrooms are great. He does indeed have a scar through his eye. No, it's not been exposed. I know that there is um, Final Fantasy IV Interlude, which is like a, a really short game that's supposed to link four and after years. 
and you get it in like the complete <coughs> the complete edition but I don't think it's made its way onto PC I think it's only supposed to take like a couple hours but it gives you some insight into who not Ridia is I think I don't know So far, I think this is the only campaign that has had us use primarily one character at a time. All of the other episodes, we've had at least like two for the majority. Like Seador. You have Biggs and Wedge, and then you have the Hooded guy. Rydia, you have uh, Luca, uh, and Kalka and Brina. You have Pollum and Leonora. Yang and Ursula, and the four monks A, B, C and D but in this one yeah we've played as five different characters through the campaign but we've only played as one at a time How does one acquire that? I wish to own it. Because what if it's the fucking adamantite? Next to the spot where he first encountered Rubicante. Isn't that just the exit for this cave? Ooh, a silver apple. Yummy. So, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV recently. And I don't really feel like we're at the point like if I stream it I don't want it to be the only thing we stream because MMOs are the kind of thing that like, the people that want to watch them, it's great and people can join in, but then the people that don't want to watch, like, it's not like you can just try and watch it. It's an MMO, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't, it's, like, if I was going to stream it, it would want to be on Discord with loads of people, and it'd be like a community thing, and playing with people, and all that shit. You're on Leviathan, you're at Leviathan. As in fighting Leviathan, or you're on the Leviathan server. Because I'm I'm playing on the US server on Zeliria. 
and I just beat the main, the vanilla main story yesterday. Yeah. Shit. I missed a hidden door. Mateus. You're on the Leviathan. Yeah, I'm just, uh, 53 summoner, 57, 58 white mage, 51 ninja. Same. It was about five years ago for me. But then I was seeing like Stormblood and. No, not Stormblood, Shadowbringers. And how you get like all of the DLCs for buying that one. So I thought I'd pick it up and give it another try. Because I remembered it being really, really fun. I just didn't really have anyone to play with. And subscription. How do get I am? Oh, I never played the original. At some point, I want to play 11. When I finally... There we go. When I finally have my own place, and... <sighs> um, hopefully have a job that makes streaming regularly. Like on a schedule. Uh, possible. I'd, I'd be interested in, uh, even if it was just like one, one stream a week being like MMO, playing through the story of uh, 14, 11, friends. Ah, friends! I've never played 11. I, but it was, uh, it was reduced, I think it was like a tenner. Maybe 15 quid for the collectors, or the ultimate edition, whatever it is. The one with all of the expansions. So, I I got that for myself, Logic, and Patinga. To uh, prove to myself that one day we will actually play it. <laughs> You wish MMOs would have board players for comboing attacks together with massive damage. Your reaction to that gift is still the same. Love you, but fuck you. <laughs> God fucking damn it, where is this adamantite? I mean, 14 has some combos. Samurai has a lot of different combos. But it's kind of confusing because you get it at level 50 when everything's like already unlocked. 
And so you have to either read up on it or just try things out and work out how things work. I did the latter. Which is why it's still not set up properly. Do they combo with other players? Ah! Not so much. Um, I feel like Black Desert? Black Desert may have had cross-player comboing. I don't know. You're thinking like a Chrono Trigger Triple Tech type of thing. Yeah. Not played that yet. I know that in the latest uh, expansion to 14, they've added duty specific actions. But I don't know if those are significant. Pardon me. But it would be cool if you were able to, like, let's say you're a mage and, like, you're casting fire, but then three of your other party members are also casting fire, and so instead of doing three lots of fire damage, it comes to that you all do, like, a massive AoE Fyraga. That'd be cool. I'm back. But it'd be an absolute pain in the arse to him. Back to where I first tasted defeat. Are we gonna see Rubicante? What? What's going on here? Crystal Chronicle style. I haven't played that either. God fucking damn it. Where is the adamantite? It's on the list. And there's the remake. Remaster. Coming out. So I will play Crystal Chronicles. Eventually. I don't know when. Okay, are we actually going to get to play through some of the Tower of Babel? Rat's Nest. Find one, steal their tails. Never imagined I'd be going through here again. What if it's over here? Because that's the kind of bullshit I would do. <laughs> okay, it wasn't there. What's this? Leave the dungeon. No thanks. Adamantite? Fuck you! There's been one in every story. Well, every story so far. 
but I find it difficult to believe that there wouldn't be one in this one. Yeah, the monster variety isn't exactly right. But eh. It's a game that is just reusing assets. Other than not Ridia. So. A great bow. I? For a second, this changed into fucking. You better not leave me behind. So, Sukunawa. Finally, we're not alone. So, took an hour. You're still in one piece. Nasidia's magic is nothing on our ninjutsu. Of course not. Let's go, master. Great. I'm now basically just going to keep playing until they all join me, aren't I? Hey, Sukunawa. Can, can you help me? Can you help me find an adamantite? Please? A battle axe! That'll be for Gecko. And they put him in the back row. That's fine, he's got a boomerang. So. Let me. Master, you overexert yourself. Dangetsu? No, Izia! Beat the shit out of them. Yeah. It, it's a bit confusing that now the monsters are on the screen. Rather than just forcing a fight, they make you interact with an enemy. Because story. Izuyoi, you've returned to Eblan. And she's on her knees already. Hopefully you won't treat me like a woman any longer, Master. Hopefully you'll treat me like a bit of meat, only for your entertainment. I mean, <clears throat> not like a woman. I place my status as an Eblan ninja above my gender. You've gone crazy, woman. Not woman, ninja. You edge me, ninja. <laughs> she, she sexually identifies as a ninja. She sneaks up and stabs you in the bum. What the fuck? Proto beam cannon. I suppose that is what that is.
Edge is 10 levels above Izzy. Amanji Shuken. So. Dangetsu. Master, keep yourself focused. Dangetsu. <laughs> it's Sephiroth. No. It's not Sephiroth. Lunith was in the... Oh, yes. Bands. That mechanic that we haven't used for the past three hours. Dangetsu, you're safe. I may be old, my lord, but I am well experienced. I see that. It's Sephiroth with a goatee. Yeah, Lunith kind of let himself go. And he's immediately been bitch slapped into paralysis. <laughs> Uh huh. It did used to be the old killer. The items have been kind of disappointing from what I've found so far. Aside from the adamantite, which I can't do anything with until probably the last chapter. Well, yeah, you, you go to like a hidden, a, a secret area at the top of a tower. High potion. Like, an elixir would be kind of nice. A dry ether would be kind of nice. Maybe. High potion. You know, the, the 150 gil item. I apologize for my tardiness, sir. Deku! You too can save on life insurance. Wait, no, sorry, that's Geico. Gale Rush. Geku! We're dealing with an unknown enemy, Master. Unknown? I think they arrived here on a meteor from the heavens. A what? He was looking for frogs or something. I... I don't know about that. High potion! Right. Oh, it's 100% the best, Jerry. Yeah, I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> nah, bitch. Wait, what? Uh-oh, am I accidentally going the right way? No! Progression! Oh, 
Finally. You only do it if it gives you some ungodly cool in-game item for completing it. It's kind of like the Pokedex. From Pokemon, obviously. But I care about it even less because I don't actually get to catch the Pokemon. Fuck you. To be fair, I don't think I've completed a Pokedex since... Maybe Red and Blue. Legitimately. Maybe Red and Blue. I am kind of tempted to get a Switch just for Pokemon. To be fair, it's been a while since we last uh, played a Pokemon. I just don't really like Nintendo. I, I just don't. And they don't particularly like streamers or Let's Players. Octopath I do want to play, but it's on Steam. It's expensive. I think it's currently on 30% off though. But I'm I'm interested in uh Octopus. But then I also wanna play uh what is it, I am Setsuna. And I feel like there was another one that came out from Square. Or that is gonna come out. Lost Sphere, that might be one. I mean, at some point I'd love to play Last Remnant. That was, that was a fun uh, square RPG that I don't think got much recognition. Like, I never heard anyone talking about The Last Remnant. Though I did come across someone on Final Fantasy XIV that was cosplaying as one of the characters from it. It's kind of cute. You know, just nerd things. Because it was released at Xbox and things like that. I mean, I had it, and it didn't do too bad. 
I don't remember it running badly. I mean, I remember that the combat system, the scaling system for combat is... You reach, like, halfway through the game, no, a third of the way through the game, and you've just been playing it. And then the game's kind of like, oh, no, yeah, if you haven't been playing the game that the, the way that we want you to, you're kind of screwed now. Because it was, it was a bit like uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Where uh, the enemy scaled with you, but it scaled... The enemy scaled according to your battle rank, which was different to your character level. So depending on what enemies you kill, your battle rank could increase more than you, your character level did. So if you weren't careful, the enemies became more powerful than you. But if you didn't realize that, you would, like, bumble your way through to this boss. Which I kind of consider similar to um, Ornstein and Smo, in that it's the point where you're like, okay, no, now you actually have to play the game right. Excuse me, restore weed? Damn, that's some good weed. There was a there was a lot of uh, cool. Finally! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> there was a lot of cool uh, mechanics in the last remnant. They dressed up that chest. But well, that's that's the teleporter that I don't think we ever used. Couldn't figure out how to fix it. Yep. Sounds about right. You know, it's like the secret that only women and gay men know. You don't have time to clean, just throw a rug over it. You know, just a blanket, a rug, a tablecloth. Throw it over whatever you want, and then you don't have to clean it. I haven't done the dishes in five years. I do, however, have to keep buying dishes. I'm also not a woman or gay. This joke is falling apart. I, I should stop him from doing that. But it worked, so... Uh, it's just kind of a waste of mana. You can see what these bands look like as well. Yeah, typically. I see a chest. <gasps> Not Rydia. It's her. Who? You know her? She's the one who came from the meteor. I suspect she's one of the enemy leaders. 
Goodness, she's still only a young girl. So what's our next move? Is no one gonna comment on the fact that she looks like Rydia? We must avoid a frontal attack at all costs. For you to say that, Gecko, she must be very powerful indeed. Watch yourselves, everyone, we must act carefully. I just said I wanted to stop them from doing that and then you know they get a surprise attack and they immediately are all doing it there we go Wait, she doesn't... She doesn't want to be kinky anymore. Did he just hop on a glider and bounce from your fight? Uh, yeah, so he's... He's able to, to do that. Yeah. Ultimate R, Advent of the Phoenix. Excuse me. Phantom Light Flies, Frozen Moon Dance. Bitch, I want to see what this looks like. Well, she's dead. He's dead. Multiple people are dead. How could this happen to me? How could this happen to me? For a moment there, I forgot I had a button that actually did it. I don't have many Phoenix Downs. Or healing items left. I hate bats in this game. Overkill on a bat, let's go. I'm literally just letting everyone slowly die. Ultimate art. Endless night lit by fiery wings, bound by the darting, dancing sword. Let it slice the encompassing darkness and sound the tulling bell. Now we call forth Eblans. Shit. Advent of Phoenix. It's like Power Rangers, but with even more pyrotechnics. Worth. Maybe. Probably not. takes a while. How much mana did that cost? Um, 
some from everyone. An an amount. Uh, twenty from everyone involved. Edgy. Who... Who's that? You cannot win against this adversary. What? Run. Run away from here as fast as you can. Run! Who are you? Don't you recognize my voice? Mother! Father! Rubicante. Yeah, he is not haunted by the ghosts of his past. Not at all. Sup, bitch. Some rats have barrowed their way in, I see. You're the one who doesn't belong, I'd say. Master, don't provoke her! What do you mean? Why have you activated this tower? What is your reason for this? There's no use explaining it to an inferior species. What did you say? You dare look down on us? Inferior species. Yes. Perhaps you have a point. You have some sense, I see. Well, I do my best. But you do realize that humans have the power to adapt, right? Wow. <laughs> that pan. Damn, girl, you got skinny arms. Adapt. Don't let your guard down, master. In that case, it would be smart for me to settle this quickly. What? You don't need to know. Mysterious girl! I forget the rest of the song. Oh wait, I have Mug. Take a shuriken, bitch! Who are you summoning? Who are you summoning? Who are you summon? Ifrit? Ifrit! Rydia! What's happened to Rydia? Weakness zero. Right. Devastates.
I'm not sure that's what I would have called that, but okay! Freezes and then maims an enemy. Sure you can! Is she summoning again? No, never mind. Three! Three. Fuck. die now. Not if I can help it. I'm running. We could have taken her. The <laughs> Isayoi. You have nowhere to run. Bitch. Think. Return of the moon. The reactivation of the tower. My mother and father, in the image of Rubicante. Everything's happening just as it did before. Your bravado ends here. Oh? For some reason, I could imagine... Edge being played by a young William Shatner. For some reason, that just makes sense in my head. Trying to escape the inevitable. Incomprehensible. Overacting. <laughs> Where are we? It's a dead end! Master, why did you bring us here? you have a plan? And I could imagine Geku being played by the same guy who plays Raijin? Was it? The one that kept on going, you know? What do you have in mind, exactly? Good to see that things haven't changed here, either. Fucking Scooby Doo to this shit. God, your knees. A trap door. This place is like some kind of ninja stronghold. Amazing, Master. She's coming for us. It's a hole in the ground. Why couldn't she follow us? Forget her. Keep running. Wait, what? Um. 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 I feel like this is a bad. I feel like this is very much so a bad. <laughs> uh -huh. Can't keep this going forever. 
bitch. Watch me. Ooh, item. That's not foreshadowing at all. over here then. It's not going to be adamantite because thank fuck we already have that. Oh, an elixir. That's actually a useful item. Kind of. Maybe. A little bit. Not overly useful considering that I'm not sure if the items we get are going to carry over to like the final campaign. But I'll take it. You know. Who is that girl, anyway? Here we go. What's this? The enemy's new airship? Alright. But it's an enemy ship. Who cares? I'm sure she'd rather be flown by us, anyway. You don't suppose this could be a trap, do you? This beauty? Not a chance. Is there gonna be another airship there? No. Huh? You flew the airship away. What did you expect? It's a dead end. There's no choice but to fight our way out. Master! Ifrit. Are you done? Alright, you win. Ah, so you finally accepted the inevitable. I have to admit, you got me. There's one thing I'd like to know before I die, though. What's happened to Baron? The Cecil. Baron is gathering all of the world's crystals by the order of King Cecil. Huh, I see. Well, now there's no doubting it. Huh? Your superior kind wouldn't know it, but our kind have a little something called instinct. Master! Yeah! Geronimo! Ah! Choosing death of their own free will. Incomprehensible. They're doing poses whilst falling. They forgot to wear the Abyss Walker's ring. Ow! Where are we? An airship. Edgy! Hey, just thought I'd drop in. Hey, Rydia. I haven't died and gone to heaven, right? What's with that outfit? I dig it. What? Why did you just fall out of the sky? History's repeating itself, that's all. No, I couldn't be sure everything would work out this time. So that... That was a complete gamble on your part, Mark. How could you be so reckless with your own life? Hey, Luca! Looking good there. 
Well, thank you. Not as good as you are, though. Hey, hey. Who's that? Sorry to disappoint you. Don't have time for a reunion right now. Huh? Where did you come from? That was one of the longer campaigns. That took like four hours. That was pretty good though. So, oh, we have Porum and Edward next. But I think I'm going to end it here so that then when we come back, They'll only be able to go for like another hour at most. Um, when we come back, we'll be able to do all of Porum's tale, and then hopefully be able to continue it like that, where we we're doing a tale each stream. Um, but you know, we're we're halfway there. Well, living on a prayer, and. By that logic, we must have half the adamantite. That's what's important. Alright guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. I just threw my controller on the floor. Catch you later.